Fat Gundy. Fat Bundy. Stan Van Dummy. You're gone. Well, I found out this news yesterday. <laughs> I just didn't make a video because, of course, every time some newsworthy comes up, I'm always at work. Always at work. It always happens when I'm at work. But right now, I got free time. But it's better late than ever. This fat son of a bitch is out of my life. This fat son of a bitch is off my team. Thank goodness. Because he fucked us over for the next three to four years. Easy. He fucked up this franchise. He made that much damage to the team. He caused that much damage. It fucked us up for the next four or five years. For, for real, for real. Like, just look. Signing Drummond to that fat-ass contract that he don't deserve. Paying him. I remember we was having a discussion about paying him. And I was saying we shouldn't pay him overpay this guy when we did. And then you overpaid Reggie Jackson a few years back, even though that contract now don't look like that much, but it's still overpaying the guy that ain't even worth $85 million or whatever the fuck he's getting paid. And Reggie Jackson is a fucking bum. Fucking bum. Then you got, you traded for Blake Griffin and all these Piston fans up in here talking to the, this is a great move. This is going to turn their franchise around and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. You don't know basketball. Blake Griffin, like I said before, overrated, number one. Number two, he's not a superstar. Number three, once again, during the season, it never fucking failed. He got injured when you needed him the most. And that's exactly what the fuck I was talking about a few months back when we traded for him. Now you see what I'm talking about. And this fat son of a bitch traded for Jameer fucking Nelson for a second round pick. If that's not the dumbest shit I ever seen in my life, then I don't know what is. It's dumb shit after dumb shit after dumb shit. Then you, you, ugh, it's hard to say this. Every time ugh, you pass on Donovan Mitchell for Luke Kennard. Now Luke Kennard, he's not a bad player. He's not that bad of a player. But he don't have star potential that Donovan Mitchell does. He don't have the athletic upside that Donovan Mitchell does. No, he doesn't. And every time I watch him, even though they're losing to the Rockets right now in the playoffs, but he took them to the playoffs his first year. He was balling for them this year. Balling. And we just, we turned on a future all-star for a guy that's going to be probably a role player or a guy that's going to be uh, a low-end starter, basically. That's bullshit. That's why you're getting the fuck up out of here, you set, you fat sack of shit. I can't stand your fat ass. Get your ass out of here. I'm glad Tom Gores had the cojones, the balls, to fire you. I'm glad he got rid of you. You suck. You garbage. You're pathetic. You fucked up my fucking adulthood, man. So far, you fucked it up. You fucked up my adulthood. You fucked up this team. And you fucked us up for the next four or five years because of your dumbass decisions. And you talking about, Tom Gore is talking about some, he won, <laughs> he fired him and shit. Stan Van Gunn like, I would have took a lesser role to stay with the team and all this bullshit. Yeah, whatever. He just went on and fired you. Like, you know what? We, we need to start over, man. Fuck you, Stan Van Gunn. He sent you fat ass packing with your... I don't know how the fuck you able to talk at every fucking press conference with no fucking neck with a voice box in, voice box in that bitch. You fat son of a bitch. I hate you. Get the fuck out of Detroit. And people want to compare him to Jim Caldwell. But guess what, though? Jim Caldwell had more winning seasons than this fat son of a bitch did. Jim Caldwell went to more playoff games than this fat son of a bitch did and done it in a harder lead to win in. So don't ever. I know Jim Caldwell sucks, too. But don't ever compare him to Caldwell. Caldwell, he made Caldwell look like a, a genius. He made Jim Caldwell look competent. For real. He is that retarded. For real. He's a, and not even just his basketball decisions. His coaching is fucked up too. His coaching is terrible. What are you doing? Like, he'll call timeout within the first minute of the fucking first quarter. Then one team will score. I seen in the game. I swear on everything I love. He called a timeout after one team scored the first point. Like, the first score of the game, he called a timeout. 
the first score. They only was up two. The game just started. It was like 10 minutes, 10 seconds to the game started. They scored. The first team that went against us, they scored, I think, two points. They scored only two points, and he called a timeout. It was two to zero. How the fuck? Who, he the only coach that does dumb shit like this. And then he runs his players to the fucking ground. So I'm glad you out of here, you fat son of a bitch. You needed to go. Period. Tomorrow I took a lesser role. No, fuck that. You got to get out of coaching and the president job. You suck dick. I'm done. Fuck Stan Van Gundy. And fuck whoever believe in this clown.